Last night we filled out one of these cards and hung it on the door. And then this morning, right at 8.30, room service showed up. We are heading up to the Art of the Theme Show, which is a wonderful tour of the ship. They give you so many details, the history. I absolutely love learning about each ship we go on. We love trying to do these every time we're on a cruise. They haven't been doing them since the restart. They were doing kind of a video presentation. Really glad they had the full tour back. It is the deck where you will find my original home, both kids clubs. Now, we will talk a little bit about that later on when I talk about the kids clubs, but we're also gonna be talking about the carpet here as well. It's Stitch Day. <laughs> Hi Stitch. And then in the forwards, you will find a lily pad pattern on the carpet as well, okay? So often the carpets will teach you where you are in the ship. We see Mr. Banks here, but as you can see, there is none of Mary. Now this is because our Imagineers are hiding them for you, okay? Almost like a hidden Mickey. They want you to search the ship. They want you to get to know the ship. So if you want to find the iconic drawings of Mary, you actually have to go round the corner, okay? You have to actively look for them. <laughs> hello, Snow White. Good, good, hello. <laughs> what a tour, everybody. We're just seeing everyone else we're here. So welcome to the atrium, okay? So this is our first impression to you. It is done very deliberately that when you embark onto the ship, you embark on deck three into the atrium. This because we want to literally smack you in the face with the beauty of the Disney wonder. So the first thing you see are all of these grand staircases. You see the aerial statue and you know you have arrived in your vacation. So this is the entrance to the Crown and Finn. My second favorite place because it's the proper English pub, everyone my home so every time i feel a little bit homesick oh, i will arrive here now it's a nice little secret that in here at 10 30 every night they bring out hot buffets okay so if you haven't seen it go tonight okay now the crown and fin is named the crown and fin because the crown iconically british okay we're we love our royal family and then they added in the fin to represent the sea okay that is why it's called the crown and fin now everyone that does bring us to the end of the tour, um, if you did enjoy yourself, my name is Molly. If you did not, can't see that. <laughs> now that the tour is over, it is time for anyone can cook, Good morning. even Good us. This morning, I get the great honor to welcome on stage here on board of the Disney Wonder, the head chef of all the pastries and bakery. So please welcome by a big warm round of applause, Chef Jesmond. <laughs> Some samples of the apple strudel that he's making up there. This is the best part, getting to eat it. After that awesome anyone can cook presentation, it's time for bingo with a ten thousand dollar jackpot. That's probably why there's a long line to get tickets. Apparently, this is how they clean the portholes whenever they're at sea. They just swing a big spraying hose. Got the paper cards and the tablets. They have a different pricing system today, so you get two tablets, each with 24 cards, and two full sheets for $60. So we went with that this time. Right, we'll see how we do. The first game that we're going to play is any line, any direction. Everyone, it's my favorite ball of bingo. It's the Taylor Swift ball of bingo. It is I-22. Uh-oh. I 
since you know there's like nobody out here at the pool and hot tub in the adult area we're gonna 
jump in. Maybe it's because it's about 55 degrees outside, but the hot tub should be warm, right? Let's find out. Oh yeah, that's one. Got the jets on, and if we stay mostly completely submerged, it's not too bad. <laughs> Still cold. Well, after chilling in the hot tub a while, we're gonna head into Cabanas and get some lunch. We actually haven't eaten lunch here at all this week so far. There's so many different options here. I always walk all the way through Cabanas and see what all they have before I start putting these on my plate. They got kind of the kids area here with mac and cheese, fries, and chicken tenders. They've got some soups over here, some gumbo. Looks like some uh, noodles and corn, cabbage rolls, seafood pasta there. All right. Interesting. Some mahi mahi and green beans, rice and beef stew, mac and cheese with ham, gouda, and breadcrumbs. That sounds really good. So grilled chicken with some veggies, mashed potatoes as well. We've got some carrots. We have some fried calamari. Lots of different breads as well. And we have a carving station today. It looks like they've got a roasted leg of pork. They've got some veggies and they also have a strip loin over here too. And they have the cold stuff over here. We've got mussels, we've got shrimp, we've got crab claws. And some salads as well. So many different things out here today. This little section here changes every single day to a different theme. Today it's the mixed grill. So we've got some different little salads here, and then we have a bunch of grilled meats. We have some barbecue ribs. We've got some sausage back there, some grilled shrimp. Over here we have some lamb chops. Lots of lamb chops here. We also have beef medallions, and then some turkey back there. Lots of really good looking food here. And then we have our dessert section. And today's dessert, they have a warm, chocolate fudge pudding and if there's not enough chocolate there you can add some chocolate to the top and they also have cookies and then an entire case of desserts over here we've got a citrus cheesecake jello a cookies and cream icebox pie a fruit trifle ooh, a hazelnut cream puff there lychee and coconut cream cupcake angel food cake with strawberry and then a bowl of fruit and then it repeats over there lots of different desserts to choose from today Good stuff. There's a very long line for ice cream right now, but dad really wants some, so we're gonna wait for it. Hello. Yeah, they keep doing that because uh, there's like zero visibility out here today. Not a great day for a day at sea viewing everything as we're going through, but could be worse. This is the last day of the cruise and it hasn't been like this at all the rest of the week. Just stay off the top deck because that horn is really loud. Now that we're done with lunch, we're heading into Azure for something new. This is Disney at Sea with D23. No idea what's gonna happen in here, but it's a new thing, so we're gonna check it out. Right. Hello everyone. Hello, how's everyone doing today? Good. Excellent. Lovely to see you, lovely to see you. Uh, welcome to the D23, D, uh, D23 Inside Disney at Sea. My name is David, I'm your entertainment manager on board, and I am thrilled to give you a sneak peek as to what's new and what's coming up from Disney, courtesy of our friends at D23, the official Disney fan club. So, we get asked a lot, what does D23 stand for? Okay, now I'll give you one clue as to what the D stands for. What is it? Disney. No, David, guys, come on. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Of course it's Disney, absolutely. And the 23? Is my age. Come on, we'll get with this, come on. No, I'm absolutely kidding. Of course, it is 1923. Uh, the year that Walt uh, moved to South California to be with his brother Roy, and they started what would soon become the Walt Disney Company. 
Did you know there's an official Disney fan club? And when we say Disney, we mean all of Disney. If you love Pixar, Marvel, Star Wars, D23, the official Disney fan club is here for you all year round. Take your love of Disney to the next level with a D23 Gold membership, one-of-a-kind experiences, exclusive offers and discounts, and so much more. If you're a Disney fan, join the club. D23, the official Disney fan club. There it is. Gotta stop by the DVC desk and get our free gift for the day. How are you? So today they have something unique to this sailing. They picked up some really cool Alani lithographs they're giving out to members today, so... That's something we actually don't have from previous cruises. And this is why you gotta stop by the DVC desk every day if you're a member, because they have all kinds of goodies to give away. Something different every day. Today is 626, so it's Stitches Day! How about that? Celebrating, huh? That's right. Don't eat all the food, okay? Well, it's almost that time. Time for the final game of bingo. We are ready, David's ready, we're pumped for the final jackpot game of bingo. We're gonna win. We're totally, totally gonna win. One of us is, or both of us, we'll split it. That's fine. All right, time to give them our money for bingo for the last time. Let's hope they give some back this time. You get the lucky cards. I'm gonna win. You're gonna win with a, with a paper card. All right, here's the paper ones. We're gonna win with paper this time, not digital. That's fine. All right, we are all set up, waiting on the final game of bingo here. We we don't have a bingo problem. We we thoroughly enjoy it. We are not addicted. We can quit anytime we want. We're just we're just gonna play one more game. Just just one more game.
didn't win back all the money we spent on bingo this week. But you know what? We love bingo. It's a lot of fun. And even if we didn't get all the money back, we at least won something because not everyone wins something every time. It's like the fog has lifted. And it's much prettier now that you can actually, you know, see it's beautiful. anything at all. So we've got clear skies now, but if you look back where we were sailing before, it's crazy. You can see just the fog hanging right there in the air. That's why we couldn't see anything as we were sailing through. Walt Disney Theater heading in for Dreams, an enchanted classic. This is a great original show. No filming in the theater though, so sorry. Now that the show's over, heading into Azure to learn to do magic with John Armstrong. Today is your day. Stand right here. Look right here. Look like this. Okay, now smile. <laughs> Doesn't matter. All right, now, ready? Okay, now just rotate your hand. It's kind of look, makes it look like it's a creepy puppet. Okay, and then stop. So you rotated the cube, right? And even though, even though you said you couldn't solve it, I think you're off by just a little. Wow. Yay! <laughs> So, uh, can everybody see my hand? So you can see I have this white rubber band here on my top two fingers. This is my wedding ring. It is the Batman utility belt from the Dark Knight series. I married well. And, uh, and so now, I want you to watch just the, uh, the band here. Now I'm gonna give it a stretch. Watch what happens. I can actually make that band go right down to my bottom two fingers. Would you like to be able to do that? Yeah. You're going to be able to. So, keep the band on the table or in your lap, wherever they are right now. I want to explain to you two things before we actually start doing it all together, okay? Promise? Yeah. Everybody, please pay attention to what's going on up here with my hand. I will explain to you the why and the how. Most people, when you learn about magic, care about just the how it works. I think it's most important to learn about the why and the how. So the, in this case, the why this works is that our fingers, basically, we have this middle point right here that allows me to swing that band from here to here. That's actually why that works. But you're thinking to yourself, wait a minute, you never did that. I didn't see that. Well, of course you didn't, because we're not gonna do something that obvious. That's not the real method. That'd be as, a method as obvious as me switching the cubes in the back. This is how we actually add a layer of deception. Here's how we'll do that. If I actually take this band and behind my fingers where you don't see, I put all four of my fingers inside the band like this. So now from the front, it still looks as like it's on the top two, but from behind, it's actually on all four, which means now, watch this, if I open my hand slowly, the band goes from here to here. Okay, that's actually why and how it works. All right, so now I'm gonna show you what you're gonna be doing from the back of your hand. This is what it looks like from the back of your hand. This is what you see. The audience is seeing this, but you're seeing this. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take that band, you're gonna pull it out towards yourself, and you're gonna put all four fingers inside like this. What is going to happen is you're going to open your hand and when you open your hand, you're going to open your hand as though all four fingers are glued together. Does that make sense? So you do not do this or this. You just open your hand like this, straight up. And also, you want to open your hand dynamically. And what I mean by that is you open your hand, like not slow, as fast as you possibly can, like that. All right? Just open your hand. It should do it. All right. Are you ready? Here we go. On the count of three... Everybody give me thumbs up. And on the count of three, we're gonna try to do this we can simultaneously, hopefully, do the trick at the exact same time. 
which I believe is what that means. Here we go. All right, on three. Ready? One, two, three. Open your hand. If you got it, give yourselves a round of applause. Dinner time, heading to Animator's Palette, and it's animation night. That means we get to draw and watch them dance across the screen. It's like the best part of this restaurant right here. It's awesome. Everyone is feverishly coloring away, <coughs> creating their masterpieces. My person is beautiful. Yeah, I'm okay with it. It's fine. <laughs> I know it's silly, but I am so glad that regular menus are back and not QR code menus. They're just better. So tonight I'm trying another one of my sodas. It is the wild blueberry cream soda, but Kadek, our assistant server, brought me a frosted beer glass to put it in so I don't have to have ice to water it down. So this, uh, this is pretty cool. This is a very interesting looking soda, but I'm really excited about it. So I'm not really concerned about taste on this because I love cream soda, but I do want to read the description because it's, it's interesting. So this is the wild blueberry cream soda, which is a purple potion with bold notes of wild blueberries and vanilla that tastes like, wait for it, a hungry black bear ravaging a ripe berry patch. Naturally. I don't know who writes their descriptions, but I feel like that'd be a really fun job to have because they've got some really interesting descriptions. So I think I'm gonna like this one though. It smells really good. Oh, that is really good. It's definitely a cream soda, it's got the vanilla flavor, but the blueberries are really like strong aftertaste. So it's got this like fresh blueberry taste. That's really good. I, I would buy a four pack of just those, that was great.
Tonight for dinner, I started off with the tomato caprese. I love caprese, and had I realized how small this was, I would have ordered two because I really enjoyed it. And I got some lobster bisque to start off. I love lobster bisque. It was really good, and I think it was probably the best bisque that I've had in a while on a Disney mm. ship. There was actually pretty good sized chunks of lobster in there. And I also got the chicken skewers that came with a peanut sauce. I always love the chicken skewers. Mm. That sauce is just amazing. And for dinner, I got two of the Alaskan regional options that they had. One was a big salmon steak. This mm -hmm. was really, really good. Had a great jus with it. I really enjoyed that. And then I also decided to get the chicken schnitzel. I'm not really sure what's Alaskan about that, but it was cooked <laughs> perfectly. Put some lemon on there. It was awesome. And I actually got two entrees as well. I got the grilled shrimp with linguine. It was delicious. I ate the entire plate. I was starving tonight. So this was so good. And then I also got the rack of lamb because I love lamb. And anytime it's an option, I do have to get it and it was just as good as I wanted it to be. For dessert, I ended with the chocolate decadence and they actually brought me a bowl of fruit as well. And the fruit made it so much better. I actually wish that they normally served it like that because it was delicious. And I also got the chocolate decadence. It's a favorite of mine here on the ship. And I got the celebration cake, which is like a strawberry cream cake, not quite cheesecake type <laughs> thing. Both of those were great. It was a nice ending to the meal there. This is what we walked out to after dinner. What a sunset. This sunset is just absolutely beautiful and a wonderful, wonderful way to end this entire cruise. Mm -hmm. We've enjoyed all the sunsets, but I think this one is the best by far. We did see a couple whales. We just didn't manage to get them on video because they literally kept popping up after we stopped videoing each time. But that's okay. We got to see them. It was really cool. Sunset has just been beautiful. Yeah. Dinner was great. And now we do have to head back inside because they are doing an adult exclusive magic show slash comedy show with John Armstrong. So we're going to go and check him out down in Azure before we wrap things up for the night here. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, I have here uh, a set of cards, and you're gonna. I'm gonna choose a card from this set of cards here, and then you will choose a card from this set of cards here. And if your card matches my card, you win. Whole day with us, brother. So uh, let's uh, go. Let's go. No, 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 no. We're gonna go for a random card. So we're gonna go for this one. Everybody see what this one is? Everybody see what it is? Okay. So this is the card that she has to match in the other pack. Now I know you're thinking, you're thinking, why did I choose you? <laughs> and who the celebrity is? Well, the celebrity is a full day with my daughter, Maddie. <laughs> right, full day with my daughter, Maddie. Maddie and uh, I chose you because honestly, you look like the most respectable person here. <laughs> Daycare is very expensive, so. <laughs> The idea is if your card matches mine, you get a full day. A full day. It's going to be, uh, she's two. Uh, your day will start. Your day will start about 5 a.m. because that's why she's been waking up. She's been waking up for some god ungodly reason. And uh, what ends up happening is that she's been the first of many, many, many messy diaper changes. It's basically like having like a blender. Uh, it's on all the time, but you don't know where the lid is. And if you hear like, uh, uh oh from the opposite room that usually means that she has stuck something behind the couch or we have to move again <laughs> so, sorry uh, I'm just gonna like this and again whichever one of these you get then you get to spend the entire day if you if you're in matches if you really want to lose oh oh I, yeah just whenever you feel like it tell me to stop <laughs> like it man. Okay. all right this way here this way here. okay all right, so take that right there hold towards your chest all right, here we go. Are you ready? So if your card matches mine, a full day, getting to hang out with my daughter. Are you excited? All right, here we go. Uh, Tarpany, uh, what is the color of your card? Yeah. No, this side. No, the other side, not this side. What is the color of the card? What? Red? No, what, the color. What is, this, what is the suit of the card? Yeah. Did you mess with the props again, Russ? I mean, you guys seem disappointed, but think how poor my friend here feels. 
She's just, I mean, get okay, seriously, because you're gonna, you were super excited to have a whole day with her. Yeah, well then, you pick her up tomorrow. So. <laughs> So pretty car box watch. Ha ha ha! Printing! <laughs> it's a flat. We all got that, right? Okay, that's good. And this is the best part. Watch. La la la. La la la. Look. Aura God. <laughs> Did everybody see the card? <coughs> Did anybody see the card? <laughs> right. And uh, you saw the card, right? But next up, put your card back inside of there, and now shuffle them up. And would you agree with me now that this is not your card? Put the rest of the cards here on top. And now what I need you to do is just, just sort of assume the position. Oh, that was good, that was good. You'd be very surprised what I get when I ask that. Uh, <laughs> Here's the idea. Uh, one at a time, I'm gonna turn cards over like this, and then you will keep a poker face. Ready? Poker face. That's more like kind of a smirk. But anyway, uh, the concept is this. I show the card round, and then I place it in your hand. If it's actually your card, that's when you're going to do this. You're going to put your hand down on top of the card before you can reach over and grab the card. So let's pretend this is yours. We know it's not, we just pretend. So I say five of diamonds, I pick the card, I take it and place it in your hand. If it's yours, exactly. You want to go quick, because if I get in and grab it, then I still win. Does that make sense? And once you put your hand on it, keep your hand on it, so I can't reach in and grab the card at all. Because if I can grab the card like I'm about to do right now, that I would still win. Does that make sense? So really clamp down. Do you understand the game? Nine of hearts, 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 Two 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 of hearts. Was his card the two of hearts? You win. All right. Well, that's not good. Just show me the two of hearts. We'll move on. No, that's the nine of hearts, the two of hearts. Oh, that's weird, it's not there, huh, strange. I win! <laughs> you know where your wallet is? Yeah. In your back pocket? Well, now I know. <laughs> <laughs> let's make it more, let's make it better than that. Uh, here's what I'll do. I'll take the card, and I'll fold it up, I'll take it, and then I'm gonna place it on your person. Done. I'll prove it. Go like this. Make your right hand sort of a pointer, Left hand to a fist. Lift your fist up into the air like so. Point to your watch. Oh. Now, keep doing that. My hands are empty. Do you agree? Watch. There's a card folded up there underneath your watch. Open that up. Show it to everybody. Yeah. That would be wow. wow. uh, I will trade you this paper ball for this deck of cards. It's a jumbo weird little deck of cards. And uh, for you, sir, ready? Look, souvenir. <laughs> Come over here. Come over here, what is your name? Donna. Hi, Donna, how are you? Donna, uh, I need you to open up that deck. And other than the fact that it's a light, slightly larger for better visibility, I want you to look through and make sure it is normal. If the cards are regular, if it's not the same card repeated over and over again, or any weird trickiness like that. Look pretty normal again? Yeah. Okay. Uh, could you take the card and hold them face down so I can't see them, and give the cards a cut? Do you feel good about that, or would you like to do it again? I'll do it again. Go for it. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, now, this is important. Put the cards behind your back. And now you're going to cut the cards behind your back. That way I cannot be accused of seeing anything or knowing exactly where you cut. Have you done that? Yes. Are you done? Yes. Now, take the top card that I cannot see, and then take it and place it in your pocket. Is there anywhere you could put it that would hide it so that I cannot see the card in its entirety? Yes. Could you do that for me, please? 
Did she put it in a Disney place or a non-Disney place? <laughs> Disney place? Okay, I'm just making sure. <laughs> <You're> just... <laughs> <laughs> All I know is I can't know where she's placing it, and then she keeps saying it doesn't fit. Okay. She's just... <laughs> and then I want to say things, and then I go, oh no, I can't. It's the contract. <laughs> Man, I'm so crazy. Okay. All right, got it? Okay. <laughs> the card is away where I cannot see it, correct? Right, can I just look at it? You know what? Forget it. Who cares? Put it back inside here. Put the cards back inside. That way I can't be accused of like using the process of elimination to figure out which one is missing or anything like that. Okay, so uh, so the, you had a free choice of any one of these cards, yes? And at this point then, there is no way then I would be able to know the card that you have on your person. Uh, everybody else, think of a card. Everybody else, think of a card. Everybody else, think of a card. And if, uh, let's see. For example, look at her. Look. If you were to name a card, what card would you say? Four of clubs. Are you ready? I'm ready. Is it possible for you to look at the card without, like, can you, where did you put it? It's at the top of your, okay, your pants, okay. okay. I'll stand over here. Okay, ready? Just yes or no, is the card in your pants the four of clubs? No. Sorry, you are wrong. That would have been amazing. That's it, good night, everybody. That's the trick, see? I get lucky once in a while and I don't tell everybody how it works. It's awesome. I even know, even know, you know what the card is now. So if I read your mind, that's not going to be impressive. It would be impressive if I knew it in advance. And I can prove I did. It's a bigger cards, right? Bigger cards? If I have even bigger cards, even bigger than that. And what I did is I took one card and I put it face down in the middle of the deck, and I closed up the rest of the cards. And then I took those big, huge cards and I crammed them into a bag of diapers. <laughs> You've been holding onto the diapers the whole time, right? Could you open up the diapers and tell everybody if I'm lying, is there a big, huge deck of cards in those diapers? There is a big, huge deck of cards. Great. Hand me the big, huge deck of cards. You keep the diapers because you're still going to need those. <laughs> but I will leave this up here so you can see that I... Now, you haven't told me what the card is, right? So there's no way I could know. But if I open this deck and you see that there is one card, one card, that is reversed in the deck. One card reversed in the deck. Would, and that was the card that you had there in your pants. Would you be impressed? Okay, now look at this. Only one card is face down, while all the rest of the cards are going the exact same way. I'm leaving this up here so I'm committed to it. Take the card out of your pants. <laughs> Show it to everybody. Say it out loud. like that. So if this is the four of clubs, 
then I expect those comment cards to be glowing. <laughs> Four of clubs, yes? one. It's like he's chasing after the chocolates. <laughs> That's cute. We just ordered some room service because it is available till 1 a.m. even on the last night of your sailing. So Robert got his Mickey bar that mm -hmm. he's been wanting. I haven't ordered one all week. I've been <laughs> waiting and I got one tonight. And then we are going to get ready for bed because tomorrow we are getting up very early. We are actually doing the final excursion Disney is offering which never happens on debarkation day. Mm -hmm. We're getting off the ship, and then there's an excursion going into Vancouver, going to check out some stuff, including a huge suspension bridge, which looks really cool. And then after it's over, they're taking us to the mm -hmm. airport. So as far as we know, they don't offer any type of excursion on the debarkation day at that port, at least on any other itineraries we've been on. Mm -hmm. So really excited to check that out. It should be a lot of fun and takes care of our ride to the airport yeah. as well. They brought my Mickey bar, and Alyssa decided she wanted some cookies. So she got the allergy-friendly cookies here. We know there's no coloring in those. It's the best way to end a cruise right here. Mickey bar as we get ready to get everything packed up and leave. <laughs>